Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Safety Systems. I get so many ads for security systems dropped into my mailbox that I can't count them all. It's annoying because I already know that Safety Systems has the best security and life safety systems in all of East Tennessee, and they have the best contracts and deals that you will find anywhere. Safe. T systems call VFL JJ Serlis this week. All right, I want to do some quick hitters. I built those in so we can catch up on the fact that we're way, way over. Josh, will Hendon Hooker get a trip to New York as a Heisman Trophy finalist? I'll say yes. He's not going to win the award, but I think with what he did, what Tennessee has done as a team, that he'll get a trip because he also got some help late. Drake May in North Carolina falling off. Mm -hmm. uh, Blake Corm, unfortunately, with his injury, as good as Michigan has been, uh, he still could get a trip too. But um, and C.J. Stroud, I think, might have had some votes go elsewhere. Caleb with how he, Williams, perhaps. Yeah, C Caleb Williams is your winner. But uh, I think Hendon Hooker is going to get a trip to New York. I hope you're right about Hooker. The only concern I have was I saw Vegas came out with some odds yesterday, and he wasn't in the top six. Yeah. Now, That's, Corum is out, yeah. and who knows yeah, what May's might dropped, happen yeah. with, with, May, with uh, May from North Carolina. It's, I think it's going to be really close. Yep. Okay. I'm surprised you guys think it's Williams – Easily. I think, I think there's a good chance Stroud still wins it. I think Stroud threw it to him yesterday. All right, Jimmy, do you believe Joe Milton can make big leaps this offseason? Uh, not really. Uh, he was at Michigan and lost the job. Uh, he comes to Tennessee, and I know he got had an injury, but he was not as effective running this offense, obviously, as Hendon Hooker. I know Hendon Hooker is special, but... I just see limitations with what he's doing. Look, he's been in this system now for two years, and he still does not throw with touch, right? He still overthrows people quite often. I, I don't know how you fix that after this many years. Maybe a third year in the system you do, but it's hard for me to bank on that. I'm going to say he doesn't make significant strides in the offseason. All right. Justin Hamilton, last one for you. Joe Milton didn't have any rushing yards last night. He's not the running thread Hendon Hooker was, and that's led everybody to say, well, this system, you have to have a runner as your quarterback. Uh, the easy answer is every offense is better if you've got a running quarterback. But do you have to have a quarterback who runs for 500 yards in this system? You don't have to have that. You need a quarterback that you can design some runs for, like we've talked about on the show before. But you, what you have to have in every offense, you can look through college football now or in past, since the spread offense has become prevalent, You've got to have a quarterback that can extend plays with his feet or with his legs and create when, with his feet when plays break down, when the pocket breaks down. Because when you look at Heupel, he had success with Drew Locke, who was not a runner. You look at Baylor, he had success. Art Browse had success with Bryce Petty, who was not a runner. But they could extend play. And it's difficult in those situations to keep your coverage in, in place and they're able to move the chains, all things that you just see it now with offenses that are on championship caliber teams. Their quarterback, whether they're runners or play extenders, they're one of the two or both. Yeah, there was one play last night where Milton kind of ran around back there and it was an incompletion. He got rid of the ball. But I was wondering, why don't you just take off? Mm -hmm. He's not a guy that wants to take off. And uh, it'll be interesting to say, I think he'll be, I think he'll be a a hoss down inside the five-yard line on those those option plays, but elsewhere on the field, he's not going to be the running with, threat that Hooker has been. I do wonder with backup concerns, was he advised, hey, that may be it. avoid at all costs running the football. That's, that's a great point. That's a very good about point. That. I think he's a capable runner, but a reluctant runner. And he's not, he's more of the Tebow Bull style than he is the elusive scrambler and you see, you design running plays for your quarterback, you may see him put on the shelf at some point during the season. That's yeah. the give and take with that. All right, when we come back, let's look back at the 2022 regular season. From start to finish, where does Tennessee rank? If we're, taking, if we're having to back one of these teams as our horse for the year, where does Tennessee rank? We take them just behind Georgia, take Alabama over them. Where are we going? Let's rank the seasons in the SEC next on the Sports Source. Away from home? Watch the Sports Source live at WATE.com.